Hello, this is Brian Mounts. I run TurfMechanic.com and the channel you're watching, Turf Mechanic. Today, I want to talk to you about, I got notes here. I want to talk to you about grass, but not necessarily about grass and not necessarily about grass seed and making it germinate. I want you to know how long it takes for grass to fully grow. That's the point of this video today because I get lots of people. You'd be surprised how many people ask me over on my website how long it takes for their grass seed to fully mature, to fully grow. And unfortunately, the answer to that question is significantly more complex than it seems. The reason for that is we've got cool season grasses. That's where I live, up, in, up north. I live at 4,200 feet in Oregon. So our grasses have to be cold season grasses. We get really cold in the winter and um, during the summer, we usually peak kind of in the low 90s, uh, but only for about a month. But not only are there cold season grasses, the warm season grasses are totally different. Now, I don't grow any of those in my yard. I am starting some warm season grasses from seed in my garage in pots like this. Because I run a website on grass and a channel here on YouTube about lawn care, it's important for me to have experience with all types of grass. Right here, what you're seeing in front of you is a tall fescue. This is, I believe this is Kentucky 31. Um, there's also turf type, which I've got over there. Um, this grass right here is two and a half months old. You might think, oh, that's mature. Well, it is mature enough to be walking on and playing games on and the kids running around and dogs running on it in the yard. But the thing is, it's still not fully mature. This grass blade right here is a great example. I mean, it's flopping over a little bit, but this grass blade is thick. It is wide. It is starting to have some texture to it. Well, Kentucky 31 is supposed to be, when it's, once it's fully mature, all of the grass blades are supposed to be really wide. Uh, they've got little serrated edges and they're just abrasive grass. They grow really tall. But the thing is, at two and a half months, I would say like, 80% of the grass in here still are, are really thin blades. They're not fully mature yet. Now, that doesn't mean that we don't mow them. This grass right here, I was able to germinate it in the garage in four days. Now, some grass types, even under ideal situations, are going to take 10 days, maybe 14. Uh, but out in the lawn, I have planted this grass over on the other side of my house, um, up on my hill, kind of away from the house, not my main yard. Uh, so I didn't really prepare the soil perfectly, and that grass started germinating in around seven to eight days. And then I have some more up on the hill, like the actual slope, and that grass barely germinated after 12, and only some of it did. Not only does the grass type have everything to do with germination rates, but also the bed that you're planting the grass seed in. If you have well-prepared soil, then that grass seed can germinate faster. But not only that, the grass seed can grow faster as well. There are some grasses in both cold season and warm season categories that grow faster than others. Tall fescue grows very fast. You can get it to germinate quickly and it will grow fast and you have to cut it back pretty regularly um, at this pretty tall height. Other cool season grasses like perennial rye can also germinate extremely fast and they'll grow pretty vigorously. But, uh, but if you were to compare that to a Kentucky bluegrass, that will take a lot longer to germinate. Ballpark figure, it will take about twice as long to germinate uh, Kentucky bluegrass as it will the other cool season grasses and the Kentucky bluegrass will then grow slower. It is common that when you put Kentucky bluegrass down, whether it's in an overseeding situation or a new lawn situation, that it will start coming up and it will look patchy. It will look sparse. It won't look very thick and that's because Kentucky bluegrass is a spreading variety Whereas other kinds of grasses like this are a bunch type. This will come up and it won't really spread. So it will kind of bunch and the bunches will get bigger. 
and it will look like it's getting thicker, but the bluegrass will slowly mature over time and spread throughout the ground and fill in the gaps. In the warm season grasses, it's kind of similar. As a category, warm season grasses do tend to germinate a little bit slower. They do tend to grow a little bit slower and they mature a little bit slower. However, once you get even germination, no matter if it's a cool season or a warm season grass, you usually can wait about two to three weeks, 14 to 21 days before you start mowing. But just because you're mowing doesn't mean it's fully grown, it's fully established, it's not mature yet, it's just big enough to mow. Uh, you can walk on it. I still probably wouldn't walk on it very much for at least a month after it germinates, but you can walk on it after about two to three weeks. Obviously you have to mow, you have to walk on it to mow. So that's going to happen no matter whether you want it to or not. Now, it is very, very hard to talk about every single grass variety in all sets of circumstances, uh, depending on you know the ground that you're putting it on, the climate that you're putting on it, whether you're putting it down in the fall or the spring. Are you overseeding in the summer? I don't know, maybe you're repairing a spot that uh, you had like an excavator dig up a patch of your lawn and you're reseeding it. Every situation is very different. And that's why down on my website, which is linked below in the description, and I highly encourage you to go down there and take a look. You can look at your grass type, and I have tried to index out as many different scenarios as possible to describe to you how the grass grows in those set of circumstances. In a video like this, it would be way too long and totally not helpful for the vast majority of people to try to go over every scenario. I recommend that you go down and take a look at that blog post down in the description below and that will give you a lot more information in your particular grass type and your particular scenario as to how long it's going to take for your grass to mature. Remember what I said about this. This is two and a half months old and most of the grass blades are still very thin. As a rule of thumb, the grass is going to look pretty darn good after a couple months, no matter what grass type you've got. But always, the next season, the grass is going to be far more mature. Overlaid in this video, I've showed you some other grass that I planted over there at various stages of uh, development. Color changes, usually grass uh, darkens up as it gets older, assuming it's well nourished. Um, grass blades tend to thicken up, bunches become thicker bunches, um, spreading grass types uh, will send out rhizomes and new shoots will come up. Your grass will continue to mature over the next year. You can probably mow it a couple weeks after it germinates, but it will continue to mature and fully grow for a very long time. Please hit the subscribe button. I've got lots of things coming out. I know it's October right now that I'm publishing this, but I have more material planned than you can imagine. Hit the subscribe button. If this video is helpful at all, please hit the like. And if you have any questions about any of this stuff, please drop them in the comments. I will try to be as fast as possible and accurately as possible at answering them for you. Thank you very much for your time. And I hope you have a great day.